officials in his own administration are working diligently from within to frustrate parts of his agenda and his worst inclinations. I would know I am one of them. This is the op-ed from 2018. The root of the problem is the president's amorality. Anyone who works with him knows he is not moored to any discernible first principles that guide his decision making. Although he was elected as a Republican, the president shows little affinity for ideals long espoused by conservatives. Free minds, free markets, and free people. At best, he has invoked these ideals in scripted settings. At worst, he has attacked them outright. From the White House to executive branch departments and agencies, senior officials will privately admit their daily disbelief at the commander-in-chief's comments and actions. Most are working to insulate their operations from his whims. Meetings with him veer off topic and off the rails. He engages in repetitive rants, and his impulsiveness results in half-baked, ill-informed, and occasionally reckless decisions that have to be walked back. Given the instability many witnessed, there were early whispers within the cabinet of invoking the 25th Amendment, which would start a complex process for removing the president. But no one wanted to precipitate a constitutional crisis, so we will do what we can to steer the administration in the right direction until, one way or another, it's over. The bigger concern is not what Mr. Trump has done to the presidency, but rather what we as a nation have allowed him to do to us. We have sunk low with him and allowed our discourse to be stripped of civility. <laughs> Folks, it's important. I read this excerpt from the New York Times anonymous op-ed op from September 5th of 2018. This needs to set the table for this huge story that just dropped that this anonymous writer, White House insider, whether they're still there, whether they're gone, don't know. But the, the book is coming. And I want you to read this very coarse and nasty excerpt. I want you to read it because I'm guessing this is just a warm-up act to what's coming in this book on November 19th. A warning by Anonymous. 272 pages, apparently. Hang on, folks. Sue just said we have more on the book. Again, breaking news item here. We'll give you more. We just got 